Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Spencer and I'm here to teach you English. And today I'm going to teach you how to compliment somebody. You've already learned how to praise somebody, so if you didn't check that out, make sure you watch the previous video, How to Praise Someone. Today you're going to learn how to compliment someone. So there's a small difference between praise and compliment. We'll talk about that and then you'll learn how to compliment somebody's appearance somebody's skills and then to give them an even stronger compliment about their skills so make sure you watch to the end let's get started first of all let's quickly talk about the difference between compliment and praise I did talk about praise in the previous video it's natural to praise somebody about something that they did so their actions their behaviors or their attitude that's the natural way to use praise. With compliment, we can compliment their appearance. So we don't normally praise somebody's appearance, but we do compliment their appearance. You can also, in addition, compliment somebody's skills, abilities, or talents as well, which is very similar to praise. So the major difference is we compliment appearance, but we don't praise appearance. But when you compliment somebody's appearance, just be very careful. In the United States, especially in formal situations, so in the workplace, or just when you're talking to strangers, complimenting or even just talking about somebody's appearance can make them very uncomfortable. And it can also be considered sexual harassment. So just be very careful using compliments about somebody's appearance. Um, complimenting your friends, of course, is okay. But in formal situations, be careful. Now that we've talked about the difference between compliment and praise, let's hear some expressions how to compliment somebody politely. Let's hear an expression you can use when you want to compliment somebody's appearance. Can I pay you a compliment? Can I pay you a compliment? Can I pay you a compliment? You heard, can I pay you a compliment? Can I pay you a compliment? Can I pay you a compliment? This means you want to compliment the person, but you don't want to make that person uncomfortable, right? So sometimes physical compliments, compliments about appearance, can make someone uncomfortable. So this is a great question you can ask before complimenting that person's appearance. You can also say it in a different way. I hope you don't mind if I pay you a compliment. I hope you don't mind if I pay you a compliment. I hope you don't mind if I pay you a compliment. And then you can right away say the compliment with but, but. For instance, but I just had to say I like your style but I just had to say I like your style. So this is a very polite way to say, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but I just really think you look cool, right? So liking your style, this is a pretty safe compliment about somebody's appearance. So I do recommend using that instead of saying, you're really pretty or you're really handsome or something that's more obviously about their face or their body. So talking about their style or a haircut or something they can control, complimenting that is a safer choice. Now let's hear an expression you can use when you notice somebody's skills and you want to compliment them. I couldn't help but notice. I couldn't help but notice. I couldn't help but notice. You heard, I couldn't help but notice. I couldn't help but notice. I couldn't help but notice. Now this is the beginning of the expression. This beginning can be used in various situations. So it's just something that you noticed and you are bringing it into the conversation. So that means it can be positive or negative. Here's a positive example about complimenting. You could say, I couldn't help but notice your singing skills. I couldn't help but notice your singing skills. I couldn't help but notice your singing skills. So this means you recently found out, maybe in that moment you found out that person is a good singer. And this is a way to compliment their singing skills. Now a way to use this in a negative example might be something like, I couldn't help but notice the office is really messy. I couldn't help but notice the office is really messy. So you're bringing this negative thing that you noticed into the conversation to try to maybe fix it. 
Lastly, here's a nice strong compliment you can use when you want to compliment somebody's skills or abilities. You can say, you should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. This is a great expression. It means you did a good job. Or I recognize your abilities, your talents, your skills because you worked hard. So this is kind of like praising as well. So when somebody's really good at something or when somebody really worked hard and they got some good results, you can say this, you should be proud of yourself. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and you feel a little bit more comfortable complimenting somebody and also the difference between complimenting and praising. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!